I have nothing bad to say about Chris. Right. He represented. And when I was saying that dudes come in the neighborhood and do this, I wasn't actually referring to him. You just used him as which, a example. Which he hasn't done, but it wasn't his fault that he didn't do anything. Nobody demanded him to do anything. Right. He tried to deal with Fruit Town. He did? And yes. And 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 they stole from him. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. And, and I hate to jump, even leave that subject, but last time you was on here, you was talking about people who were in the entertainment field, and Chris Brown's name uh, came up. But then they ain't giving back. Wow. You know what I'm saying? To, to, to get somebody some guns and shit, you ain't helping your neighborhood. Yeah. All this... All these dudes is claiming Pyru, uh, Chris Brown, all of these other dudes that using the label and not one studio for people to go do rap at, but you'll spend $25,000 in a strip club. I mean, we getting used, not used, misused. Wow. How you use, you can't use a cracker's name and they don't get paid for it, huh? So how you use Pyru? How do you use Compton and you ain't been there? Nigga, check in. And he, 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 it was t it was a mm -hmm. rebuttal because he said something on uh uh, uh it was on the Drink show. Champs mm -hmm. on Nori's name uh, mm -hmm. uh, channel. He said uh I ain't clicking in. I ain't you know because he he basically felt the way. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I've been out here. This is like a home to me on the West Coast. So you know I might have crip best friends, blood best friends. You know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't draw the line. Or I don't I don't I'm not out here in the extortion uh conversation it's just like yeah, you need to kick in it's none of that uh, uh, nah. because it was like man and, you know and, and when I said did I say it on y'all yeah you said it on my well, you, I'm just talking sometimes you can just say I have nothing bad to say about Chris right he represented and when I was saying that dudes come in the neighborhood and do this I wasn't actually referring to him you just used him as which, a sound which he hasn't, but it wasn't his fault that he didn't do anything. Nobody demanded him to do anything. Right. He tried to deal with Fruit Town. He did? And yes. And 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 they stole from him. So he, he disconnected himself from him. So you don't keep feeding me if I do you bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's logical. You know, but for dudes that come in and claim your neighborhood. And then go spend twenty five, thirty thousand dollars on a strip club, and won't get a studio for your young kids to come holler in to do rap music for it. I think it's injustice, mm -hmm. and that's for any hood that these dudes are claiming. And you can, we, you can, I could take you to Compton right now, and I couldn't take you to a black restaurant to eat. We don't mm -hmm. have it in Compton. Wow. Why? Mexicans took over. We gave it to them. Right, because... Well, I couldn't take you to a club so you could sit down and have a drink in Compton. The streets is rolled up like Mayberry at 7 o'clock. If you're not going to the Jack in the Box, uh, McDonald's, or Taco Bell, you're not eating in Compton. Wow. That is crazy. And First and we, black run city west of Mississippi. How do, we, how, do we, how do we fix it? Start killing some of these politicians. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We've had 14 mayors in the city of Compton. It was the first black-run city west of the Mississippis. And we don't have a Martin Luther King. Every state in the United States in the South yeah, is a Martin Luther King. But do you think it's the people's fault because they can go out here and vote all these people out and vote people that should be in there who to help? And, and you, these Negroes is vote. I remember one time... Uh, um, Omar Bradley's father had passed, Groucho, and one of our statesmen, Reverend Fisher, was officiating the funeral, right? Mm -hmm. And he was talking about Groucho and Groucho's life, and he was telling about the kids, don't cry for Groucho. He, he, he said, let me tell you this story. He said he had this gardener, this Mexican gardener, was a good gardener. And he came home one day and his wife said, kill that go Fire him. He got to get out of here. He said, well, fire the gardener. She said, he cut my prize roses. I love these roses. And he didn't cut them and put them in a bundle and, uh, and fire him. When Jose come, he said, Jose, man, I like you, but I got to live with my wife. Right. I have to fire you, Jose. So he said, you cut her prize. He says, Reverend Fisher, the flowers had got their full bloom. 
and they were taking up the sun so the buds couldn't draw. Mm -hmm. All of these old coons is not letting the buds flow. Mm -hmm. So the young kids have nothing to do with nothing and we steadily smashing them down. Sucking up all, we need to get a campaign and every morning, these old people, we need to shoot them all. Damn. Get them out your way. And, and I hate to jump, even leave that subject, but last time you was on here, you was talking about people who were in the entertainment field, and Chris Brown name uh, came up, 